It's now been two months since Temple University Police Sergeant Christopher Fitzgerald was killed in the line of duty. And many people in the community are still honoring his legacy and showing support for his family. As our Jennifer Lee explains, today it was all about a joyride on motorcycles in his honor. A sea of motorcycles in Port Richmond ready to ride in honor of Sergeant Christopher Fitzgerald. Yeah, he's, he's just out there doing his job. You know, he's out there trying to protect the community, you know, to the students at Temple, to, to the residents of, of North Philadelphia. And then something so tragic happens, you know, he's, when he's just out there just trying to make a difference. Philip Scratchard is the president of the Bullets Motorcycle Club. You can see there are hundreds who showed up, many who were also in law enforcement, from Philadelphia police to the sheriff's office and Temple University. Sergeant Fitzgerald's wife, Marissa, is grateful for everyone supporting her and their four children. And we talk about him a lot and we miss him a lot. Um, my kids are also a mini him, so their personalities, it's like he's still here. Um, we just hold on to the happy memories and that incredible smile that he had. You may recall this very corner was filled with balloons, pictures, and messages in honor of Sergeant Fitzgerald. The group making it a point to ride through here in memory of him. He gave his life up for for you know, the community, for the city, and that's uh, we're giving back to him today. The memorial route ended at the Fraternal Order of Police Lodge. Sergeant Fitzgerald's parents have dedicated their lives to law enforcement service and say their son wanted to return to Philadelphia, a city he loved, to forge his own path. The roots are deep for us in this city. We care very much about you know, everything that's happened, and Christopher has made us nothing but proud. But moreover, our hope is that uh, his murder is a catalyst for the kind of change that's necessary in the city. Jennifer Lee, Fox 29 News.